Oh, it's a good week, AJ. We have so right. much to talk about. There's a lot of good movies on the horizon. Notably, a little thing from Martin Scorsese called Killers of the Flower Moon. Indeed, Within the last rough. few hours, AJ, yes, meant to, you know, meant to be one of the movies of the year, supposedly. But as with most things, Martin Scorsese, comes a certain runtime, a certain length. And <laughs> can I take a stab? <laughs> Please do. I'm going to go for something in the region of three hours, 20. You are very close. Three hours, 26 minutes. <laughs> that was close. I nearly went three, four, seven. I was like, no, that's too high. Bring it down. Okay. Now, you must remember last week we discussed that there is no one size fits all when it comes to movie timings, right? So we shouldn't be too harsh on this, given what we said on the last news show. Go check that out if you wish. But obviously, the internet being the internet, Martin Scorsese has already come in for criticism for the runtime of his movie. <laughs> Naturally, because people have got nothing better to do than to say the numbers on the movie are too long. But here's here's, here's essentially what the full story is, AJ. It's uh, it is an interesting one to say the least. If I could find the damn story, <laughs> uh... extra runtime, folks. That's what it's all about. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Give cinema some respect. Martin Scorsese defends Killers of the Flower Moon runtime. Oh, Marty, Marty, you, you are a man of, of choice words. Based on a book of the same name by author David Grant, Killers of the Flower Moon is based on true events chronicling the lives of key figures involved in the murders of members of the Asaji Nation in the 1920s. The upcoming Apple TV Plus historical epic, which stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Brendan Fraser and Lily Gladstone is now confirmed to clock in at a whopping three hours and 26 minutes ahead of the Killers of the Flower Moon, Flower Moon theatrical release date later this month, October 20th. Scorsese addressed the film's long runtime in an interview with Hindustan Times, echoing a similar statement made by director James Cameron regarding Avatar The Way of Water's lengthy runtime. The legendary filmmaker cites bit TV binge watching as a major reason why a long movie runtime shouldn't be an issue. He has a point. Check out Scorsese's full comment below. In the case of Killers of the Flower Moon, it should be seen on the big screen. Are we intending to make a blockbuster? No, we're making a movie which should be watched on the big screen. Other pictures I made? Eh, maybe not. Sometimes it's, I think he's referencing the Irishman there. Sometimes it's the strength of the picture too. If it plays too well on a smaller screen, that's interesting. Killers could play on a small screen, but in order to truly immerse yourself, you should take out the time. People say it's three hours, but come on, you can sit in front of the TV and watch something for five hours. Also, there are many people who watch theater for three and a, three and a half hours. To four hours, there are real actors on stage. You can't get up and walk around. You give it that respect. Give cinema some respect. Now, I want to hear what your thoughts are on what Martin Scorsese has to say there. Yeah, he said it in a very Martin way, obviously. But AJ, what's what's your thoughts? So, do you know the initial thing was I I get it, and as we said, everything has its own sweet spot, you know. So you can be right and you can be wrong. Now, here's the thing where I will go against what Martin Scorsese says, and I really didn't want to. Um, one of the biggest things about binge watching a series is the cliffhangers. You know, you, you get something that's, as it's ending, it gives you something to boost your interest back again. Whereas sometimes when you've got a film that can be very prolonged, and again, I've not been able to challenge The Irishman, I, from my sins, and I know it's my sins, and I've seen one cinema, I may fix it, didn't go to see Oppenheimer because I knew that my focus has just not been where it should be at that time. Bro, I know. I know this. So I need to fix it. Now, with that, it's the cliffhanger and the, the precipice of, you know, yes, it goes on the slope, but then something boosts you back up to then go back in it. A long movie, because it has so much plot and development, your focus can then wander and go somewhere else. Now, he also quotes theatre. One thing, which we have not seen in cinema now, but we saw when the likes of Seven Samurai... Gone with the wind. And the rest up. Intermissions. Yep. So, yes, Marty, you could be like, yeah, give it its respect. And I'm down for that because you know what? Wolf of Wall Street, despite its length, loved every minute of it. So as long as you're giving the right beats and notes to keep someone entertained throughout, 
It's that. Whether that's a blockbuster or just a movie, that's irrelevant. It just needs to have the right beat at the right time to keep a person's focus in check. And we have to be very aware. And I know I'm prolonging this while I'm saying this. We live in a nation where this content is key. A minute is focused. So when you've got three hours and 26 minutes, that's three hours and 25 more than what a general person's focus is nowadays because of the way media is consumed. So you need to be careful and make sure you just got the right beats. It's not the length, it's how you deliver the, the product, I believe. Listen, I think his his comparison to TV is interesting, not in the way that TV shows are constructed, because as you said, you do get left with a cliffhanger, which leaves you wanting more. But in the very fact that people clearly do have the sort of time to dedicate to uh, to consuming media, it's not fair that they would dedicate time to consuming TV cliffhanger or not, and then not give that same amount of dedication and time to film. I also think I've seen a lot of comments online saying that, oh, but at three hours and 26 minutes, you know, it's not going to be a blockbuster success. Two retorts to that. Titanic, Avengers, well, a few retorts to that. Titanic, Avengers Endgame, Avatar, and Avatar The Way of Water. All two and a half to three and a half hour long movies. You know what they all got in common? They're the four biggest selling movies of all time, right? So th the fact that a movie is long does not equal blockbuster is... It, the, uh, the the math is applicable because obviously a shorter movie runtime means you can get more butts and seats because you can get more screenings. That's just a fact. The movie has to be good, like to get people to the <laughs> cinema. It has to have universal appraise. Whatever you consider good or not is obviously subjective. But the movie has to have a certain. Now, <laughs> the other thing is, speaking of budget, let's also forget Martin Scorsese is not noted for making big billion dollar grossing movies that's not to say his movies aren't fantastic goodfellas wasn't a huge huge success casino wolf of wall street wasn't a billion dollar movie so this whole thing oh because it's long it's not going to make money is nonsense i'd say because of the director it's not going to make money and that's not throwing shade at him it's just the type of movie he makes they're not made for mass appeal they're made for critical acclaim that's what martin scorsese does probably better than anyone is usually make a movie that you know is going to get awards consideration that's just my thoughts on the matter um i think that pretty much covers it unless there's something you yeah. want to add no i i'm pretty much of it as you, it's it's quantity it's quality over quantity it doesn't matter the length it's literally the quality of the product and that's always going to be the way all right uh what do you guys think are you excited for killers of the flower moon has the runtime put you off let us know down below